Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading to see how we can find the best possible way to move through the coming week. So the first card is Mystic of Fire, Effervescence. The second card is Keeper of Earth sustainability. The third card is Achiever of Fire, Truth. The fourth card is Major Two, Spiritual Guide. And the fifth card is Four of Water, Serenity. So first thing we're doing is we're starting our week in our most sparkly, brilliant, amazing self. Effervescence means that we put the energy out there into the world that is the most attractive energy we have. It's a very magnetic energy. Even if you don't feel like you've got attractive energy, other people respond to it that way. This is our magic. Put it out there when you begin the week. We move from that wonderful, effervescent, bubbly energy into sustainability. And sustainability means that we're finding a balance with our energy that we're able to maintain across time and space. So this is a bit of a grounding. This is also a check-in with reality. We move from sustainability into truth. This is our personal truth showing up about how much energy we can really put out there into the world and maintain it well. That's an important thing to understand. So let yourself sit with that truth about your energy level for a little while at the middle of the week. We move from that to spiritual guide. And the spiritual guide means that we've got outside help coming to us, quite often from the unseen realms that will help us really move into whatever we're doing this week from a place of peace and wisdom and long vision. We end the week in serenity. And what that tells me is that we do manage to do a good job of figuring out how much of our wonderful, effervescent, bubbly energy we can, sh we can share on a long-term level and be able to do that with wisdom, be able to do that with love for ourselves as well as for others. So in summary for this week, you're starting in all your excitement about life and you're sharing that outwards. You're taking a look at how much of that you can realistically sustain and you're accepting that truth about yourself. You're not fighting it, you're not exaggerating it, you're not minimizing it, you're just accepting it. And then you step into the wisdom that's, that's available through outside help. And you end the week with that wonderful peace of mind that allows you to just relax with yourself. Enjoy this week. It's got a lot of shifts in energies, and it's a really good one to have.